Now, when you want to make an interesting side dish that is a little bit different than the usual stuff you make, and you only have courgettes in your fridge, things can get a little bit difficult because courgettes, even for me, I'm not always a fan because of that kind of fear of that sogginess when you bake it, when you cook them, they render water. And I'm always looking out for recipes that are really, you know, that bring something different. And that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to share with you a very simple, ultra simple courgette recipe that are baked in the oven and that are made a little bit different than the usual because we're going to borrow some Mediterranean, aka Moroccan influences into the dish to spice things up. So half of it is going to be like the typical French stuff, we've got the garlic, the onions, the parsley, the courgettes, and we're going to use some spices to really bring that dish to life. And you see when it's done, it's a really good one. Now, like I said, if you don't have much time and you want something nice when you, you know, you're out of time, you want to do this on the run in the oven without using pans, this is the perfect recipe. The ingredients are extremely simple. We're going to use courgettes. Young ones are better but I've got you know, different sizes, so I'm, I'm going to show you how to use them. And for the main ingredients, it's basic. Onion here, that is two onion thinly diced. You can use a food processor or do that by hand. About four garlic cloves that are crushed, and the rest are just spices. A bit of paprika, cumin, and these are called Moroccan spices. When it's done, it's finished, we're gonna add a bit of parsley or coriander if you want, and a, you know, a drizzle of lemon juice. It is that simple. Now you may wonder why are we doing some kind of Moroccan influence well, because it's French cooking. Because Tunisia and Morocco, you know, have a big, big role to play in the French culinary landscape, and we've got lots of dishes like the couscous, for instance, like the taboulé, that are really on French tables all the time. And these are the kind of dishes that some people make at home a lot. And now let me show you how it goes. It is super fast to make. You've seen it, I've already diced my onions, I've got the garlic, I've got the spices, and then you're left with the courgette. The great thing about that recipe, again, is that you don't even need to peel the courgette. You can even leave these little stems. What I'm doing, I'm just removing a little bit, just the end bits in here. And if you want, if it's you know, a bit untidy, just a tiny bit of the, you know, of the hard part. All what you need to do is to cut your courgette in pieces. So depending on the side, okay, I'm starting with that, uh, that size here, you're going to take it and you keep on going with your knife. You, you don't mind about the shapes, you want these kinds of little strips like this. So that's for a long courgette. If you end up with a small one, same thing, you're going to do the same, the same bits on here. And the same applies. Now you can go with your knife and follow the shape of the courgette, otherwise you get something even. Okay, so ideally, these ones here, are the ones you want to see. You see the difference? If it's really large, it still works, but then it gets thicker and it's not gonna cook the same. So when you're cutting vegetables, always remember, the size matters. Try to have everything of the same size. If you can in a shop, get everything in the same size. So I'm gonna do the same here with this one, okay, which is gonna be uh, harder. So I'm showing you the, the, you know, the more what if you have uh, you know, a vegetable like this, how do you handle it? Well, the same thing. I'm just gonna start you know, and follow the shape on here as much as I can. Yeah, it's, not, it's not easy. And you could cut it in half, you know, if it's too awkward, but usually it is soft enough so that you can go through and it's gonna make a very, very long strip. Now, as soon as the courgettes are done, you reserve them on the side and now you can start making that onion mixture or the flavoring mixture. It is extremely simple. You take a bowl, all of the onions are going in, followed by the garlic, mix a bit, so you can see, ultra simple, and then spices, I've got the Moroccan spice, the paprika, the cumin on here, I'm going to add a touch of salt on here, a bit of pepper, some olive oil, it's about three tablespoons, and also you're going to need but three to four tablespoons of water, okay? And all what you need to do now is to mix up everything. And that's about it. So you can see it's very, very simple. There's nothing complicated. So you mix well, and we're gonna leave this to sit for about three minutes something. Time for the, the spices to diffuse a little bit. Now in normal times, you have to make this in a baking dish, but I always find that baking dishes like this, as soon as you get three or four courgettes, boom, it's totally overcrowded and it's not gonna 
cook properly and it's going to be again soggy. That sogginess is really the one thing I don't like. So what I'm doing, I'm using the baking dish first only for one thing. First you wash your hands and you, this is a baking dish, simple. I'm taking all of that spice mixture here, the onion mixture, and I'm going to pour that over. And I'm going to use my hand here that I've washed, clean hands, okay, to massage the courgettes into the mixture to make sure they're all coated with everything. And we are done with the courgette. What's left to do is to preheat the oven now at 200 degrees Celsius, about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And while this is happening, just leave this to sit and they're gonna kind of macerate a little bit. And then, baking time. So as you can see, the process is really not difficult. And now, for the baking or the cooking of the courgettes, I'm gonna be using this. Now this is my oven tray, the one you get with your oven. And I didn't used to use that thing that much, but nowadays, more and more, for anything quick and fast and home cooking, I'm using this because there's lots of space and it's brilliant. So what we're gonna do, we've got here, the zucchini, by the way, they're called zucchini or courgettes. I'm gonna grab them, okay, gently, and then place them on my tray, leaving some space, okay, so we're leaving some space in here, making sure it's not overcrowded, it was not gonna crisp up. And that's it. And I'm gonna gather all the juice after from the pan and pour some over, okay? All done. So you can see here, I've got plenty of space, nothing is crowded, but you can see there's not too much of that onion mixture on there. So what I'm gonna do here, I've gathered all the juices and the onion in a bowl, and I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit, some moisture here and there on the courgettes, or the zucchini before I'm placing this in the front. You want to keep some because we're going to be basting the whole mix later on, okay? When we're done here, or what we need to do is this parchment paper. I'm going to just cover this slightly to let it steam, and I'm going to cook this now in the oven at 200 degrees for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, this is how things look like. I've just removed that parchment paper, and it is just to kind of start the cooking of the courgette in here. And it is now that we're gonna actually do that second layer. You can add some more oil, by the way, if you think it's not moist enough. And yeah, as much as you want, a little bit, plenty of it. I like to have plenty of juice everywhere. And you, we're gonna caramelize this now under the, uh, in the oven without any covers on. This is the difference. So you remove the parchment paper. And all what we're gonna do is to leave these onions to brown a little bit and kind of semi-caramelize and that's going to be it. Look at this, it's been 25 minutes in my oven with the courgettes I've used. Remember that time is not always you know, precise, it can, be, it can vary depending on the size of courgette the oven and you have, but basically that's the look you want. Something nice and soft, not soggy, a little bit burnt, but this is just you know, the way it looks out of the oven. We now we need to dress that up into a serving dish and add the final touch with a sprinkle of lemon, some parsley, plus my special onion crumble made with breadcrumbs. Super easy that I'm gonna show you right now. Well, this is a bit of an improvised thing. I'm taking all of these onion bits from my baking dish that I had, okay, medium to high heat, and I'm adding some breadcrumbs in there. That's all it is. And I'm gonna cook this or pan fry the whole lot until it crisp up and it makes you a nice, crumble that you're going to be able to use with the courgettes. It's a nice addition, okay? But don't burn the bread. And here we are. As soon as this resembles like a nice crispy croutons, you are done. The crumble is ready. And now the best time of the video, the serving. So here are the courgettes. They look good, but it's all in the finishing touch that things usually really, really take shape. So when you cook, it pays off for have these little extra bits on the side. So what we're gonna do here, I've got the lemon. We're gonna start here with sprinkle or zing, you know, a fresh lemon on here. You can choose with either a little bit of parsley or fresh coriander. Again, roughly chopped. You don't want to make it too formal or anything like that. And that special mix that I always do is this. This is my special, this is my creation, which is the onion crumble. And I absolutely love it because it gives that crunch that looks, it's brown, it's appetizing. It works really, really well. But that's it, look at that, perfect. So, here we are, what do you think? If you're looking for something really casual, you're a vegetarian, you want to have a bit of salad, a light lunch, this is the perfect entry. These zucchinis, and with this little Moroccan touch, a bit of fusion French Moroccan, 
are absolutely beautiful. The juices are in there. Everything has been absorbed and that special crumbs really bring this to a whole new level. So I hope you enjoy that recipe and most important, I hope you're gonna try it. <laughs> but that's it for this one. I'll see you next time on the next video, of course, for another great recipe. See you. Don't leave me high and dry